In the year 1654, a strange experiment in the heart of Magdeburg would leave Europe stunned, forever altering the way humanity understood the very air they breathed. Imagine for a moment the sound of a booming crowd, the sharp breath of anticipation, and the piercing silence that followed. Otto von Guericke, a humble scientist, was about to reveal something that no one had ever dared to believe. The invisible force that surrounds us, air, could be controlled, manipulated, and even made to vanish. Picture this, two copper spheres, perfectly shaped, gleaming in the dim light of a cold European evening. They were sealed together, carefully crafted to withstand the forces of nature itself. At the center of the bustling square, Guericke stood, surrounded by his curious audience. They had come from far and wide, skeptical of what they would witness. What followed would be unlike anything they had ever seen. Guericke, with a flick of his hand, sealed the air from inside the spheres, creating a vacuum. The crowd gasped. The spheres, though small, began to exert a force greater than anything imaginable. The air outside, as if sensing the absence of its own, rushed violently to fill the void. But the spheres held firm, defying the natural laws the crowd thought they knew. The demonstration escalated. Von Guericke would take the spheres, two halves of a giant vacuum, and make them the center of an awestruck spectacle. He placed them on either side of two teams of horses. At his command, the horses began to pull, straining with all their might to tear the spheres apart. The horses tugged at their reins, their muscles straining, their hooves digging into the ground. Yet, despite their strength, they could not separate the spheres. The vacuum had created a force so strong, the air itself was now a barrier. This shocking revelation, air, the very thing that sustains life, was now understood to have weight, force, and power. Garricky's experiment had shown the world something unimaginable, that nature's invisible, often taken for granted elements could be manipulated, controlled, and understood. His vacuum was more than just a scientific tool. It was a gateway to understanding the forces that govern our world. As the crowd slowly stirred back to life, gasping and whispering, the realization set in, a new era of science had begun. The air around them was not just air, it was power, a force waiting to be understood. If this story inspired you, if it made you think about the mysteries of the world, hit that like button, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Your support helps the channel grow, bringing you more stories that reveal the mysteries of our past.